good morning guys welcome to another london vlog guys i'm so jet lagged i woke up at six in the morning today and i am not a morning person and we got out of bed at 7 a.m i was like active ready i felt really motivated i was like this feels amazing and i feel like i understand why people rave about getting up early because i felt great but saying that i know tomorrow i'll probably wake up like really late we were starving because we went to bed last night at around 8 p.m we just got back from Vietnam, went to bed at 8pm so obviously woke up today at around 5.36. Then we made ourselves a breakfast because we were really hungry and we had one of our favourite breakfasts which is this Japanese breakfast. So you have like salmon, rice with fermented beans, kimchi, egg, like it's a mixture of things. It is one of my favourite breakfasts and it's really good for your gut health and I'm all about my gut health at the moment. Like I'm really trying to nurture my body inside and out. So that was a really good breakfast. And then afterwards I made myself a drink, which you guys saw using this new powder. It's actually a very new launch from Beauty Pie that I've been able to try. It's not yet been launched. By the time you see this, it's gonna be launched. It's their Chologen, which is a chocolate collagen powder. I have a very sweet tooth, I think you guys know this. So this is like the perfect kind of pick-me-up drink. And in the mornings, especially after having a savory breakfast, I always crave something sweet. And this is like the perfect sweet drink to have but also a really great like afternoon pick me up. So I am working with Beauty Pie on this portion of the video and I'm really excited to be working with them because I've mentioned so many times in my vlogs that I'm a huge fan of Beauty Pie. I've been using their products for over a year now. They were one of my favorite discoveries of 2022 and I rave about their SPF all the time. You guys, if you're regular viewers on this channel, you will be familiar with their SPF. This is another top up because I just finished my last one when we were tripping to Vietnam, so I needed a top up. So this is my new fresh Beauty Pie SPF. So if you don't know about Beauty Pie, they are the world's first luxury beauty buyers club. So you can buy their skincare, makeup products at a really accessible price point in comparison to what they usually would cost because they cut out the middleman. So a lot of their products get made in the same factories that a lot of these high-end premium brands make their products in. But when you become a member, you can access these products at a really good price point. So for example, um, I've been trying out their new Trologen, which I am really loving. It contains collagen, it's marine source collagen, organic cacao, biotin and vitamin C. If you are a member of Beauty Pie, you can get this Trologen for £33 instead of the usual £100. So the discounts are honestly insane. It's definitely worth being a member if you love skincare, beauty products that are really, really well made. I do have a discount code actually, so I'm gonna put it on screen and this discount code will get you £10 off the annual membership for Beauty Pie. I'm just gonna sip some more of this drink because it's actually so tasty. You guys, if you saw in the video how I make it, you have to blend it. So use a blender to blend it. You can like use any smoothie blenders or I've seen those, um, you no know, one on TikTok, everyone uses those stick ones that you can blend your drinks with and you can mix it with milk or water. I made it like a mocha, so I put two shots of espresso, I put some oat milk and then the one scoop of the collagen powder and it made the perfect drink. I really like that it's not too sweet. You can really taste the chocolate and the cacao in it and it has collagen, which I wanted to start taking this year anyway, but I don't really like taking tablets as my form of supplement. So this is perfect. It's a great way for me to get my collagen vitamin C, biotin, all in one drink. So I've really been enjoying that. And I love that you can kind of make it how you want. Like you can definitely add this into like a smoothie. I think this would be great with like some frozen bananas as well. So I'll leave a link to that collagen powder down below along with my discount code. I thought I would just do like a chatty skincare, get ready with me, catch up with you guys. Cause I feel like on the travel vlogs, it's not really like a chatty vlog. They're more like you guys see what we do, but the London diaries are more of a just you know chill and hang out with me so i'm gonna do my skincare with you guys i always love my skin after traveling not the plane traveling but i mean after going to a hot country because i get like this really nice tan but i don't enjoy my skin after the plane journey because it just feels really dry and dehydrated so i have picked up some top-ups from beauty pie so i thought i'd just show you those as well but this is a top-up of one of my favorite creams this is the youth bomb biologic collagen peptide cream and guys look it's empty I literally have tried to scrape as much as I can. This is one of the most beautiful face creams ever. So hydrating and it really gives you a glow. I'm just gonna put some on to show you guys. This is a brand new tub and I always scrape off the back of this. I don't waste any of this cream. I'm just gonna blend it in to show you. It blends so easily and it just gives a really beautiful glow to the skin. So I'm gonna apply this to my face and I'm gonna also 
use my new gua sha that I got from them. This is actually a new thing from Beauty Pie that I haven't tried before. And it's a, one of their best sellers because it actually just came back into stock. So it was out of stock. It's a gua sha tool, but listen to this. It has water in there. Um, and I think it's to keep it cool, which is very cool. I love this. This honestly does feel really cooling. This is so nice. I don't want to stop doing it. It feels so cooling. And then of course, I'm going to put on SPF. I don't ever go a day without using SPF. And this is one of the best SPFs I've ever tried. It was in my um, summer favorites that I did last year. And on every holiday I go on, you will always see this. It's SPF 50 and it's also a primer. It works really well underneath makeup. And I also love how it just blends so seamlessly. It doesn't leave any white cast behind. So those are some of the new products that I picked up. I will leave a link to all the products down below. I'm gonna finish my drink and then start putting makeup on and get ready because back into work guys. We landed yesterday and today's a day full on. I've got a brand meeting, I've got a fitting to go to and then I've also got another event I need to go to and it's like a work event so I need to create content and post that also. It's gonna be a hectic day but I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey. start my hair now when it's at this awkward length and also like I think I want to grow my hair out so I'm trying to grow it out but this is the length that I would get it chopped because I feel like it looks weird when I straighten it should I try getting layers but then I think layers might look weird with this length I don't know this is the dilemma I get into I always try and grow my hair and then I can't stand that awkward length and then I just get it cut and then it's just like a cycle of constantly trying to grow my hair but then getting it cut so this is the problem because I don't really like my hair this length. Curling it looks even weirder, so my hair done. I haven't done a great job, but this side is too curled in, but it's raining today and the weather will ruin my hair anyway, so I'm not too fast. But I'm gonna get ready now because I need to go and go to my first appointment of the day. gonna try this like light jacket on this is my outfit of the day I'm wearing my Frankie shop cargo style trousers Elias made boots skims skims black bodysuit it's the one with the thin strap layered with Kate cardigan because it's cold and then my H&M bomber jacket and of course my Jodie bag because she is the best bag ever. And I'm also reunited with my engagement ring, which I missed very much when I was in Vietnam. I feel like it's not really giving anything. I like the color and I like this leather patchwork here. But other than that, I feel like it's just a basic kind of coat. So guys, we just finished at my fitting at Victoria's Secret because I'm working with them again for a campaign on TikTok and it's actually really good because I haven't worn a bra since before COVID, like just before lockdown. I don't remember the last time I wore a bra, so all the bras I had don't fit me anymore. So it was really good to get refitted, got a new collection of bras. I'm gonna film a TikTok campaign with those to show you like the best kind of bras to wear under outfits. I picked bras that I thought would work well with lots of different outfits and was speaking to the PR lady because I've seen on TikTok like people have been talking about this teaser that Victoria's Secret put out about their shows coming back because if you guys remember they kind of almost got cancelled for their shows because obviously they didn't have any diversity within their shows like it was all the same body type all their campaigns had the same body types and I was talking to the lady about this and I was like I remember the first time I worked with them two years ago and they accepted the campaign because I had seen that they made they had made a change and they've really made like a conscious effort to include more diverse body types diverse models and um i was just saying i'm like really looking forward to see what this show holds because i remember being younger in secondary school and always watching the victoria's secret shows and just like it was like an occasion to like everyone would watch it 
it's kind of like another award ceremony vibe obviously like they'd have the musicians it was like a concert um and they're bringing it back this year and i'm very intrigued to see how they're going to bring it back i mean i'm sure it's going to be a reflection of how they are now in terms of like different body types but i'm really excited to see how they do it and yeah that was really it was really good i'm really hot and sweaty because we were like in a rush to get do the fitting pick out all my pieces and come off to come to my next event so we're here in knightsbridge now it's only a 20 minute drive to go to this amazon luxury event so amazon if you don't know have this luxury fashion side so you can buy like lu things like like brands like Ellie Saab from Amazon but so they've got this event and it's, I think it's like a gifting suite and they invited me to come and create some content around that so I'm gonna go and see what that's like and also shoot some content because it's a paid job that we have to do there as well and then after we're gonna get something to eat because since our breakfast which was at what time do we have breakfast like eight in the morning yeah. No, 7.30. 7.30, guys. We had 7.30 breakfast. Who is she? We haven't had anything to eat since, and it's currently 3.30, so, like, my head hurts. I'm tired. So, after this event, we'll probably pop into Harrods Food Hall and get a little snack for our journey home and then go home. Yeah, it's a very nice room. So you always book the same hotel? Yeah, it's got a bath there. This is what I'm wearing, guys. This is my OOTD. <laughs> this jumper is from Uniqlo. What? These trousers are Isabel Moran. Shoes are All Saint. And then this is vintage from Paris. I like this dress. So guys, I quickly ran into Cafe Kitsune to get us a sando. They do these amazing sandwiches. So this is the chicken katsu. Because they're quite big, I thought we could have like one of each. So I also got the egg one. I've never tried the egg one, but it looks really cool because they've got an actual egg in the middle of it. Like mm. you see, egg mayo. So we can have one chicken and one egg. Camera. The camera's dying. So if it changes to lower quality, then that means we have to- That's fine. Let's just quickly taste test before the camera dies. Okay. So I've had this chicken one before. Have you? Remember oh, my time? leftovers. Your leftovers. And it was really nice. This time I get to have it fresh. Mmm. A bit dry. Hi okay. guys. The camera died. Camera died. I was saying the egg one is a bit dry on the edges. Is there no like mayo or anything? Very minimal. I had the chicken, I had the chicken one and it's saucy so it's mm. nice. It's like a, um, I prefer the chicken. Teriyaki sauce. Egg one looks dry. Mm -hmm. It is dry, but I'm so hungry. <laughs> now I need to edit the um, Amazon fashion stuff and send it off ASAP yeah. before we start driving. Before we start to drive home, we'll catch you guys at home. Good morning, guys. Today is Mother's Day, so I am doing a little brunch for my mum with my sisters. So they're all getting ready to come down and help me make a little brunch. We've got a mixture of things that we're gonna make, kind of little bits and bobs to have on the table. We also bought her some flowers and we're just gonna put that on the table and do it really nice. But for us, it's just about like kind of spending time as a family. So because people obviously go to work, school, the times are so different. So it's quite rare to have a sit down lunch or breakfast together so it's quite nice on days like this that we will just get together help out making the food and then have a little brunch so i think it's gonna be cute my mom's upstairs in her room right now so we've told her not to come down until we set up the brunch and it's kind of like a mother's day tradition that we do like a mother's day brunch and we always of course get her a nice bunch of flowers this year i didn't know what to get her as a gift because i feel like she has everything that she needs so i'm gonna just ask her to it's kind of like an iou gift so tell her like whatever she wants she can get because I did ask her what she wanted, she's like, I don't want anything, like there's nothing to want. Um, which I get, because even on my birthday, like I literally did not have any asks. All I wanted was some Ugg slippers, so. Um, well, that was my alarm to wake up, but I've woken up a lot earlier. Then my alarm, because my jet lag is still kicking in, guys. I went to bed at like 10 p.m. yesterday, and then 
woke up this morning at 6 45 in the morning so jet lag is still real i'm up got my makeup on before 9 a.m which is very unusual of me but i mean i'm loving it so i'm gonna try and stick to the schedule as much as possible but right now i'm gonna get started on making a brunch for my mum. getting eliza rose to wash the strawberries because we're the plan is to make some chocolate covered strawberries but we need the strawberries to be super dry so we're gonna wash these first so they can dry whilst we're cooking everything else. I love strawberries. Mmm, they smell so sweet. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. So these are the flowers that we got for mum yesterday. They're so pretty. There's like um, a mixture of orchids, we've got ranun ranunculus and some Renan roses. Yeah. And then we've got some of the mini ones and we're gonna put them on the table in like separate jars. Like separate jars. jars. Okay, hey guys, do you want to fill them up, actually? Yeah, yeah, with water. Yeah. Just get a big jug and then you can pour no, it. No, just fill it up with water. Not all the way to the top, just... Cold? Yeah, it's yeah. cold. They're a bit long, don't you want to... I think it's nice that they're long. So we just put it in this vase because it looks better than the box it was in and then she can unwrap it and we can put it in the vase properly without the packaging. But I thought the packaging looks quite pretty. Also, these are the little things. I don't know if we should add, basically... You know from Amazon yeah. Fashion, when we went to the store, they gave me these. I think the minimal look is quite nice. Yeah. Because I think if we add this, it will it's take gonna away... It's going to be too much. It's going to take away... Yeah, 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 yeah. I that's... think it's just that. Let's just leave them as they are. So one of the dishes um, I want to make is like a bruschetta. So we picked up this, um, like an olive bloomer, which is really nice. We're going to cut that up and then pan toast it. And then I'm going to mix this with some olive oil, salt, and basil and put some balsamic glaze on top. Another dish I'm going to make is this croissant. So I'm going to cut that in half and then put some pesto, mozzarella, parmesan and some sun-dried tomatoes on top and then like toast it so it's like a croissant sandwich. And then I'm going to make some eggs. We've got smoked salmon and we've got some toast. So I think it's quite a nice little breakfast thing. I'm going to get started in this though. I think it's time to have the strawberry. We've just got ones. random four ones here. They're really big though. I'm gonna do a taste test for you guys. Oh girls, do you want to do a taste test? Yeah. Go on, pick one, take one from the big one. Oh wait, they come off really good. Yeah, baking papers. First of all, was mum's breakfast a success? Did yes, she like it? It was so delicious. You're, have you been having a nap? By the way guys, it's been like a couple of hours later after the brunch, we all have kind you, of- I uh, was like lying on the floor <laughs> of bed. Eating, so. Okay, come on, taste test. Mm. Strawberries are so sweet. Mm. Perfect. Mm. 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 Yeah, the brunch was a success. Basically, we ate. We were so full, and then we all crashed out on the um, in the sofa. And we sat at the table for a few minutes. Just. Yeah, we did. My mum put the flowers in the vase properly, so we took out the packaging. How pretty are these flowers? I love the orchids, the peace lilies. The ranunculus, 
Or how do you pronounce that? Is it ranunculus? No, ranunculus. Ranunculus. They're one of my favorite flowers. They they are open for spring. Okay, now it's my turn to try the oh, strawberries. Yeah. This is my strawberry. Mm. They're so sweet, aren't they? Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, making strawberries at home makes you realise how much of a scam buying chocolate strawberries is because remember in one of our last London vlogs, me and True bought some chocolate strawberries from Selfridges and we got five pieces of chocolate strawberries for like nine pounds. Yeah. Like around nine pounds. And this is like a pack of strawberries and some chocolate is, and you can make all of this. Make sure to wash them and dry them. Dry them or wash them. Mm. Whoa. So guys, I just received an order from Matches Fashion because I'm working with them on TikTok, but this is all on loan. But I'm really excited to open them because there's some pieces in here that I picked out that I basically want to see and try on before I buy, which is great. Sometimes with collaborations, you get gifted the items that you use for the videos and of course they pay you. Or sometimes, I think this tends to happen when it's quite high value items, they'll loan you the pieces, um, you create the content, obviously they pay you for that, and then you have to return the pieces. So in this case, it's matches fashion, um, so they sell a lot of designer brands on there. So they've allowed me to loan these things for the purpose of content creating, and then I have to return them back once I've done the content. But I thought I'd just do an unboxing with you guys and show you what I picked out. So the theme was like, spring summer vacation outfit so i've had to create three different looks and i'm going to do like a cool reel with that but i'm going to keep some things a surprise so i think i'm just going to open up the accessories with you because that's the like most fun part in my opinion so these are some Tega heels honestly it's kind of sad opening this knowing that it's it's not actually mine like i'm just it's unknown so it's all brand new these are all brand new pieces and then i wonder what they do afterwards i reckon they probably maybe go into sample sales or they just use it on shoots or yeah because it's all brand new pieces i could pick out whatever i wanted so i have these in the raffia material the stretch sandals so i thought i'd get these in white because they just go with a lot of outfits and especially when i'm picking looks to create content with a lot of the times i get some of the items and i create the content i don't have time to try things on and see if they work really so i always kind of go a bit more on the safe side especially with accessories so i went for these because i knew it would go with the colors of the outfits that i picked out i think this is a new style which comes with the chain it is so guys look it has this chain which is removable where does this go oh i think you hook it on there so it's like foot jewelry kind of cool and i wear my raffia ones all summer long i thought this white hair was gorgeous this is kind of dangerous though because it's making me want to buy everything that i've got in box. but yeah so this is the first pair another pair of shoes from bottega honestly really loving bottega at the moment i think they're the perfect accessory brand for spring summer and i have my eyes on a few bags from there there's another pair of shoes so speaking about raffia these are their new version of the raffia mule heels i thought these were just a great pair of summer shoes again it's going to go with the outfits that i picked out i hope this is the first time unboxing things i haven't opened the outfits yet so these are like the mules again they've got the bottom grip which i really love and there's this really gorgeous raffia detail this is the one heel you'll need for the rest of summer the same way i just took my the raffia stretch sandals to vietnam those were the only heels i took with me and they essentially went with all the outfits that i bought so I thought this was a good option. I got another pair of heels from Jean Vito Rossi. Oh, these are so pretty. So they're these gold heels, gold metallic mule. I love this heel, it's so unique, that structure. And then you've got the two straps that go across your foot. These are a really pretty pair of evening heels. I feel like these are the perfect evening heels for spring, summer. Gold is just so rich. So pretty. This is honestly, I'm like selling these things to myself because these aren't actually mine, guys. They're on loan, but I really like them. This is honestly so exciting for me, guys. I'm so excited to see what I like, what they are. I mean, I know what they are, but I like just to unbox them. I really get pleasure in unboxing things. Okay, from Jacquemus. Oh, I'm excited to see this actually. I've never seen this in real life. So it's their bag from their new collection. Oh, this is so pretty. Let me open this up. So it's their bag from their new collection. So it's in this really gorgeous, rich, dark brown color. It has this ball. And then I think you can adjust the straps. Yeah, you can. 
So you can kind of wear it. I wonder if you, I don't think you can change this one. Basically make the bag a crossbody bag or you can have it as a shoulder bag and then it has another little detail here. Okay, I need to take this tape off, but it has another little like tortoise shell ball detail here. That was a really cute little spring summer bag. The next bag is from Bottega. This is a bag that I actually am thinking about getting. The mini Jody, but in the white, because I feel like I really want a bag with no logo, why I did have my Givenchy one, the Givenchy, it's called the shark bag? I can't, it's got the padlock bag. But I've just found myself like really lean, leaning towards the Bottega bags. Like I wear my big Jody all the time. And I thought this is a perfect little summer bag. I love how you can wear it in the crook of your arm. Then you can also just have it as a top, just wear it like this. Um, and it matches perfectly with the stretch sandals that I got. So that was the reason for getting this bag. Next one. Okay, this is from a brand that I actually haven't heard of before. Serena Uz Uziel? Uziel. Uziel. Serena Uziel. And it's this really gorgeous. The battery looks like it's gonna die, so I'll be quick. There's a raffia clutch bag with this really beautiful blue stone detail that goes across it. And at the back, this would go really nicely paired with the Bottega raffia heels. Oh, so it's like a magnetic closure and you open it up and then that's the bag. I thought it was such a lovely spring summer bag. I feel like raffia is obviously a very summer material and it's just a really lovely clutch. I also love this pop of blue. I'm going to quickly show you sunglasses. I don't know if the camera's going to die within that time, so let's see. Picked up some sunglasses by a brand again, a new brand that I haven't heard of. DMY by DMY. Okay, so the camera did die, so if the angle's changed, sorry about that. So I was saying I picked up some sunglasses from a brand called DMY by DMY. I've not heard of this brand before, but they come in this really lovely like light blue case. And then these are the first pair that I picked up. They're kind of like my Celine's, but they're a bit, I feel, feel like they're less chunkier than Celine. And there's obviously like no logo on them. They're just a plain pair. They're actually really nice. I love them. They're like, oh, it does have branding on the side, but it's very, it's um, quite hard to see. It's like embossed in there, not embossed, debossed. And then the next pair comes in the same case. It's the same brand. It's actually the same style, but I need tortoise shell. I love a tortoise shell pair of sunglasses. And then they're like this. They're very nice. Again, like my Celine's, I like them. They're very classic. I like how there's no like obvious logo to them. They just will go with everything. I do have the outfits to wear to wear with them, but I will leave those and you guys can go see them on my TikTok once I create the content. But yeah, I thought I would just do this luxury unboxing because these are kind of things that I'm interested in getting for spring. But I am trying to be good with my shopping because we've been going on a lot of trips recently. We're going to another trip soon and where we're going, there's going to be lots of shopping opportunities. So I'm trying to like save myself from shopping here in the UK and wait until I go there because I have some things on my wish list that I hope they'll have where I'm going. So I'm trying to be good, but these are the kind of things that I would get for spring summer. So if it's like gonna give inspiration to any like spring summer accessories, I will link these items down below if you're interested in any of them. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pack this up, put this in my office because this needs to be all shot and then spend the day with my mum. Uh, she said she wants to go for a walk, so it's quite a nice like mild day, it's not raining. So we might go for a walk, which will be nice. I'm actually feeling really hot right now. For those wondering, by the way, this is a very old Zara knit top set. It has this like matching little vest top underneath. It's like a cami uh, little tank top and then you have the matching card again. I will never get rid of this because I remember going into Zara stores, I think while I was working, like looking for this set everywhere and I got it. And it's actually a really good set. Like the quality of it is really good. It's not even bobbled yet. And I've had this for a good few years. So that is what I'm wearing today. Earrings are from Monica Vinida and this bangle from Monica Vinida. And actually I have two more bangles now that I've got added to collection so I can have a whole stack of them because I love these so much. I think it's also nice for me to build them up and to wear them as a stack and then engagement ring i honestly missed it so much while i was in vietnam i feel so happy to be reunited with it but yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this little luxury unboxing of things that are actually not going to be mine but they're mine for a couple of weeks before i have to send them back i'm gonna go uh, and spend time with my mum and my sisters <laughs> why has it got has got his wings out oh look at these two lovebirds i'm just assuming maybe they're not Oh 
I'm wearing my Acne Studios puffer, which is actually keeping me very warm. And I'm glad I can actually start wearing this because when I bought it, I obviously loved it, but then it was like not cold enough or like not the right temperature to wear it. But now it is, so I'm glad I can wear it. You enjoying this walk in the park? Yeah. It's so nice. The weather's not too cold actually. Yeah, it's like the perfect walking temperature. But it's very muddy on the floor, so yeah. we need to be careful when we're walking. Oh, look at those two. Yeah, so you get, look at these two together, the little ones. Mum and Dad. Oh, look, he looks quite aggressive. This is True's bird watch dreams coming true. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, no, it looks scary. Why do he look so aggressive? True, can you Google while you're editing this if it's like um, swan mating season because the swans are re being really aggressive and they're not in the usual pairs. So if there it is, you can put in the um, put text on screen to say it's swan yeah, mating it. season. Did That's why they're aggressive. Just watching them. Did he keep trying to strike a duck? Oh look, it's coming! Come, 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 come. 